far away. Do you want us to come closer? Sorry? Do we come closer? <laughs> oh, whatever you like. I, I, I'm fine. I have the mic, so I don't want to shout. That's good. Uh, I'm Sonia. I work for the GLAM team in the foundation. And uh, for the past two years, I've been working together with many other people, uh, also from Wikimedia Germany uh, and from the foundation on Wikimedia Commons. Uh, we have been adding new, many new functionalities to Wikimedia Commons, actually basically introducing Wikidata description to Wikimedia Commons to, in order for making Wikimedia Commons more multilingual, making it easier to search. Uh, you can now build more interesting tools on top of it. Um, and in the next, I think, half hour rather than an hour, but that's still be fine. Uh, I actually want to take, take you through it quite practically. So, you know, taking a look at what exactly is new, how you can work with it, how you can help, uh, how you can get started on your own projects with it. Um, I just want to, like, look a bit at the room, who in the room had already added speak, uh, Wikimedia Commons. You add pictures to it, or, yeah, for most of you, I can do it. And who already added speaking data? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, so basically what's happened with structured data and comms, uh, I will just give a brief introduction like how it works, where like the concept behind it is, um, so until like six, six, seven months ago, when you uploaded files to Wikimedia Commons, you did that with the upload wizard, for instance, or with other you know, uploaders, and you described your files with Wikipedia with plain text. Uh, so you would say, you know, I make a photo of this hotel and then I say this is say, view hotel in Marrakesh, but I see it in the text. Uh, the problem with that is, uh, and has always been, that uh, that usually only happens in one language, English or French, or maybe, you know, you're, you only speak Arabic, so you add a description in Arabic. But then if someone else searches for your file on Wikimedia Commons in another language, they will not find your file. If they don't you know, speak Arabic, they don't know the Arabic script, they will not find your file. And that's really a pity, and especially you know, if you want to uh, work with Wikimedia Commons and you don't, you don't speak English, it's, your files will be less findable. Uh, and so the Commons community for a long time has been saying, we really want to, Wikimedia Commons to become multilingual. So you know, when I make files, uh, when I make photos of Marrakesh, of you know, the uh, or of buildings here in Marrakesh, or of you know food items or flowers, and I don't want I only know my own language, I only know Arabic. I want to be able to just describe these files, and then other people in other languages should be able to find them. And that has been a very long term ask from the community, and we are actually now going to solve this with or solve approach this with structure data commons. And basically what we are doing is we are using already our multilingual like strength that we already have on Wikimedia projects, which is Wikidata to describe files and commons. So uh, rather than saying this is this hotel in Marrakesh in, in a string like in written words, what you also do now on commons is you would take the Wikidata item for this hotel with all the different language fields and also describe your file with that. That's basically what we're doing with structured data. So for instance, this file, uh, it's a, a beautiful photo from Wikileaks Africa, it's a winner of Wikileaks Africa, I think. And what you basically do on Commons, this is just the concept behind it, is you, on Wikimedia Commons, you now also have functionality to say, this shows, this depicts ripples, water, the Volta River, a clean, a fisherman. And all these things, all these concepts that you use there, the tags that you add to it, are actually Wikidata items. So if someone else searches in another language, um, for instance in Arabic, for this file, this is the structured data information on Commons. You will have some of the information in Arabic. I don't speak Arabic myself, so I don't know how good the labels are. Uh, I think this one, for instance, like the popular wave, that's the ripples. It's not translated to Arabic yet, so uh, that's all already something I want to say already, like in the beginning, if you want to help with structured data. A good thing to do on, on, always to do on uh, Wikidata is to translate as many labels as possible uh, to help make this, this file more discoverable. But so this shows the principle, right? That uh, you have we, the user has just added all these text to the file and now you can actually also find the file by just using Arabic. Um, 
So, if you use Wikimedia Commons, you will be familiar with that you use categories also to describe your files. Uh, you also use templates, you use information templates to describe your file. Uh, this is not replacing that, it's just addition, additional to it. Uh, it is quite possible that at some point the community will say, oh, structured data is not so good, so, you know, we've gotten so used to it that maybe the categories are not so useful anymore because structured data helps us more now. But that is up to the community, so what has been done now is actually we just added extra functionality on top of everything that is there now. You can continue doing things with categories, with templates, but in addition you can add Wikidata, data, structured data. Um, any questions till now? Here's some part we will immediately look at how what it looks like and you can do some edits. Uh, I just want to point you know, out, uh, if you have questions after the presentation, we have an information portal about structured data and commons, only to media commons, of course. I have to say it's out of date. Uh, actually, one of the things I want to do in the upcoming months is add a lot of documentation here about how to do things, because now it's still like about the development of the project and you know, giving feedback on development. But uh, there will be more documentation here soon. Uh, this should, should be a good place to go, and you see it's already translated also in various languages. Um, one important thing to know is, uh, especially if you have done uploads before, or if you want to work with files that other people have uploaded, um, this unstructured data, so the wiki text that has been added to common so far, the categories, the descriptions, the text descriptions, they have just like Wikipedia always been created commons by sharing like from the zero at this point. However, the structured data that you add now is CC0, just like Wikidata. Uh, so it's actually public domain, everyone can reuse it. So you do have to be careful, especially with number of descriptions that are available with files. Like if you have like a one paragraph of text about a file. That, that is protected by copyright, it's licensed, it's under the Creative Commons license. So that, what, that bit of text you cannot transfer to structured data one-on-one. -on -one. But little facts like this file shows the hotel, this file shows this kind of palm tree, uh, it shows a table, that's very, very factual and that's no problem at all you can put in structured data because facts are not copyrightable, that's principle B uh, adhered to. So that's just background knowledge to know. Um, if you have questions, feel free to interrupt me because otherwise I will just go on and on. Um, so, there's various new things, new functionalities, and we will look at them one by one. You can add file captions, I will explain all this. Uh, you can add depict statements, that sounds maybe abstract if you don't need the data, but we will see what it looks like, looks like and other statements. And you can already do that with the upload wizard. You can go to a file also, an existing file, and add that kind of stuff. And if you're a coder, you can also use the APIs to add that kind of information. Okay, let's go to examples. That's a bit much nicer. So this is uh, one of the mosques here in Marrakesh. A uh, beautiful picture. It's a feature picture. Or no, it's a quality image. So it has a, a quality standard quality image on the Commons. performance. So at some point, someone in the community or the community has said, this is a good quality picture, it's beautiful, uh, it's high quality photography, and it shows various things, right? It shows the mosque, uh, and it shows the specific kind of uh, carriage that is being used here uh, for tourists in Marrakesh, with horses, uh, you see palm trees, so there's various things going on, there's a street lamp. Um, now, how would you describe this with structured data? There's many, like three new new kinds of functionalities. One new thing that you might see in the file page, and if you want, you can open your laptop or go on your phone uh, and follow along with me, go to a random file uh, and look at it. If you want, it's actually a workshop. Oh, this is called the workshops. So you can just you know, do it by hand. Can we add to one of our own pictures on comments? Sorry? Can we add to one of our own photos on comments? Absolutely. Okay. Go ahead. Go to one of your own uploads, for instance, or one an upload that you know about, or just a random a photo. And there's a new thing that you will see, uh, also in mobile, is this little, like, soul edition here under the photo itself. You will see that there are now two new tabs. I don't know if people have already noticed this and used this. Uh, you now see file information and structured data. 
Does everyone who is looking at the file at the file will see that in front of them? If you have your interface in a different language, it's kind of course it will of course have different labels, but
shows, what is in this image, what does it show, what do you see? And then you can start adding all kinds of you know, tags or things that you see. And all the things behind the scenes that you add will be big data items. So in this case, I said, this is the mosque. Uh, another, another name for the mosque is the Kaspar Mosque, apparently. Uh, you see a horse, you see this kind of uh, part is apparently called Parish in French. Um, I found that in the text description of the file. You see palm trees and you see the street light. Um, but if you look more closely, you see also that you can be a bit more specific about that. You can add, if you, in the Wikidata language, you can add qualifiers, saying, for instance, oh, the barouche is green and white. It has specific colors. Um, there are two palm trees. I hope I found them. Uh, there's, yeah, there's two and there's a little bit of shadow behind it. Um, you can all add all kinds of qualifiers to it, helping also people to find you. I want a picture with a green uh, bunch, then if someone says uh, in the search, I want to find pictures of green bunches, then they will find this file because you have this information. Any questions? Or, oh yeah, and another thing that I want to indicate is that you can say, uh, you can indicate what are the most important things in the file, what are the most prominent things in the file. In this instance, you see, in this example, you see the mosque is really like the main subject of this photo, but also the barouche. So what I did here is I said the Kasbah mosque is prominent. I don't have a pointer, but you see that little checkbox there, and the barouche is also prominent. It's an equivalent of Wikidata that you have these little arrows. I don't know if you know that if you use them at all, but these like I uh, can we call them? Uh, oh, I always forget. The uh, yeah. It's not priority, yeah. Whatever. Uh, well, which one do you mean? The, that's the, okay. the, the rank. Like the ranking, oh, yeah. Right. yeah. It's very, very subtle. We decided to make it bigger and more prominent, important on comments because it helps to, you know, it will help to say I only want you know, I, I only want to see pictures where the main topic is this mosque. And that will help me find it. And uh, one question is, yeah. is it possible here to add all stuff uh, that you can do uh, if you make query in the data? From oh, really? here you have all items and directly the qualifiers that you might add. Um, so do you have the same structure of anything? Uh, is there any limitations? Or? It's kind of the same. Uh, we don't have references. Uh, if that is what you're asking. Um, you, you can try it. It's, we designed it slightly different to make it as simple as possible to make it a bit less complex than Wikidata. Mm -hmm. So there are no references yet. And I hear some community members say we may want references. I can imagine that that's the case when you really want to prove something that this is in that mosque and you, you have a historical photo. Maybe you need a source to prove it, right? Uh, so that is not there, but I think we need. Like the qualifiers is similar to Wikidata, the problem is of course a little bit different. Um, yeah, I would say go ahead and try. I, for me as a Wikidata editor, it feels quite natural uh, to, to do it. And, but we also try to make it such that even for people who don't know Wikidata at all, it also should be you know, easy enough to do. And the nice thing will be let's first let me see what I did here. Oh yeah. Um, and then below, and that is a bit more fluid still and open, you can also, since beginning of August, very new, add other kinds of statements about the file. So there's many other things that you can say about the file with the media comments. It is uploaded by someone, it was created at a specific time, uh, a photograph was made with a specific camera, and in this case, for instance, all it has a license, of course, all of, all of the files in the media comments have a license of, uh, or the domain status. That's all, all kind of stuff that you can also add to structured data. Um, and this specific image I said earlier is a quality image. It's something you know, it has got this quality label for the community, and it's also something you can add to the structured data. So these are other kinds of statements. I always get a question when I give this workshop, I've only given it three times, but I know I will always get it. Uh, also when I talk to people like, so what? How do we do that? What can we add? Well, the community is still trying to figure it out. I don't know if you were at Azar's workshop yesterday or on his presentation, but 
is that in the early days of Wikipedia, we had to figure everything out. In the early days of Wikidata, we had to figure everything out. Well, we are in the early days of, of Wikipedia and Commons, so we are still figuring everything out. So there are no sets like practices yet on how to do this. I have the impression this is probably going to be how copyright and license is going to be. And people are starting, starting to try it, but it's super, super new. So there are not really like fixed agreements yet on how to describe things. I think that's quite exciting. And I actually also want to tell you if you feel you know you have opinions about this, uh, there are places where that's been discussed. I will have links later. By all means, go there and contribute to the discussions because you know now is the moment when we will shape the structured data commons, and it's really the the, as a team, we build the software, but it's just like Wikipedia, it's up to you, the community, to think how to organize the information. And that's the challenge we have now. But so, yeah, uh, it isn't just the same, we use properties and statements from Wikidata. Uh, so, what you see here, Commons Quality Assessment is actually a quite new property in Wikidata. For people who are familiar with Wikidata, we now have a category of properties on Wikidata that are specifically for Wikimedia Commons that are not used on Wikidata, but only on Commons. Um, so, and this one is, this is really like very special, especially for Wikimedia Commons, the quality assessment of an image. It's also a winner of Wikilos Monuments, by the way, I think on a few years ago. That is also something that's a good example that we haven't figured out yet. Will be also the Commons quality assessment winner of Wikilos Monuments, uh, Morocco 2016, or will we have another property for that? It's not set yet. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't decide that. Uh, I mean, I participate in these discussions as a community member, but it's not decided yet. Um, and just to go back to the multilinguality, again, what I'm doing here is, uh, the, from the last two slides, now people who don't speak around know what's, what's, what's going on here, but uh, is on the top right you see the depict statements tr translated. I, what I did is I switched my interface language to Arabic and then immediately you, you see, oh, I also get all this information in Arabic. It's again, just like the previous example, Barush, the concept of that card is not translated, it doesn't have an Arabic name yet, and the palm tree also not. So that would be a good thing to do to add Arabic names to that. And this is the other statement that you see here. Um, so, just to show the multilinguality in practice, that's, you can switch to another language and you see the information in your language. But if you see that the labels are not translated yet, you can click through to the Wikidata item and add a label in your language. And that's, I think, a very, very helpful thing to do. Um, So I talked about search, searching that you should be able soon to also search comments in Arabic, in I don't know, in Farsi, and find more files than you currently do. Um, my colleagues are currently building the functionality to do that. It's not like that. It's going to be it's going to be a little bit more complex than the current search function. It's going to be like with multiple blocks where you can combine. Uh, statements and uh, like, uh, like properties and items in statements uh, in a, a user friendly way. It's going to be a gadget. At this moment, you can already do these like funky things. I don't know if you can read the slides on top of the search results. It has the WP statements column P180 that it depicts, and then Q number of this mosque. That's all something you can already do. So, this is not fully like the, the full multilingual yet. It's like the back, you know. The ugly code that in the back, but it's already tricky to find files and external data. But so the search gadget is coming, uh, and then you will be actually be able to search in your language. Uh, we still have three months to go for the project, and we're doing a rush for final improvements, and that's a very important one. Um, yeah, so I was already saying what's coming next. Uh, when you start editing, you will notice that, for instance, you cannot add a time yet to the file. You cannot say yet this file was uploaded in 2017 because we haven't enabled for the Wikidata leaks in the room here the time dates uh, data type yet. All of these are still coming. They're all almost ready. Uh, the search gadget is coming. Uh, if you are into the Sparkle query, you want to query this you know, beautiful new structured data. Uh, Stas has been working on it, but Stas has now the foundation. So we have a very, very, very basic like test instance of the query in 
an engine ready and hopefully when we get successful to discuss uh, this person can continue working on that. Uh, if you code, if you build things, especially on commons itself, or you want to reduce the data, uh, Lua support is also almost ready, so you will be able to do Lua things like use structured data and templates and things like that, or even Wikipedia. And one thing that we are currently also working on is a test for machine vision. So that is that uh, like machine vision, like machine rec uh, image recognition is way over your uploads and will suggest to you like, oh, this might show uh, a chair, this might be this person. And it's like Nishi said in her presentation, it's the one with the human in the middle, so there's always human confirmation in the middle, so it's not automatic editing, but there will be functionality to allow you to have some machine vision work with uh, adding all the insights. So that's all coming in the next few months. Um, I don't know if people want to go to lunch, or I can show a few other things, but uh, if you can just quickly go to it, and if you have questions, you can always talk to me. But I'm very happy with this. Uh, it's actually not my work, it's actually the community's work, but it's super nice to see that. Uh, so structuring that comments is really, really new. It's, uh, it's been around for maybe six months, and the other statements only, uh, I don't know, uh, two months or something. But we already have a few very nice tools to work with it. So uh, you can go to your final pages, of course, and add structuring that files, but you can also use fun tools. One of them is called ESA, and ESA stands for to put in the Shona language, it's a, an African language, uh, and it's actually um, a tool built for mobile, but you can also use it on your desktop to add tags to files in Wikimedia Commons. Uh, very easy, so you can just skip through them, and one by one you add the big statements, and your contributions are counted, and you can win prizes. So that's actually why I brought these things from all the way from the Netherlands because we also have a competition going on now uh, about uh, Wiki Arabia and about Marrakesh. You can... Ah, the competition ends actually, exactly at this moment. So, <laughs> so late. <laughs> I don't know if you people at the conference have been very, very fanatic, so those prizes will go to a few people here. But so basically this is what uh, ESA looks like. You, you can create campaigns in it. You can say, oh, uh, I have this set of files for my city and I want to do a little competition. Uh, you take the comments category, you feed it to ESA and then users can just log in and go through images and earn points by adding tags. So it's like a competition. You can also use it for yourself. I just make my own private campaigns and did a lot of flagging with it. And it's really fun, it's really easy, it's made to be super, super easy to do, you, especially on mobile, you can just, like, almost, it's not swipe, but if, if you are older, you are looking for someone who has the swiping functionality, but you can just click to the images one by one and add search. Um, here's a bit more information about it, uh, I will put all this also on Wiki, um, but ESA is really built for very easy use by any community, we already see many campaigns with it, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's um, super happy with this. So, so uh, yes. The conversion of the the image from the previous uh, the mask. Yeah. With, with the with the carriage. What was it called? The carriage. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it has a different name than the carriage. Ah. But uh -huh. then when I actually looked for the Gucci, yep. I didn't find the page for that. Ah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think structured data comments, you will notice that actually many things in the world don't have Wikidata items yet. So that will actually be like, uh, you can create a Wikidata item for it. Because you can use it on, on comments. I noticed stupid things like the front and the back of a vehicle. We don't have Wikidata concepts for front and back. And, and the comments will show that, that you know, there's all these things, especially everyday things that we, yeah. So, my answer to you would be feel empowered to create a Wikidata item for it and then you can add it to your to the, to the file that you use. And, um, and yeah. if there is an official name that's different from the market name, if there is something called an alias in Wikidata, so you can go through the item and add another name for it. If that's Denmark and Arabic name, for yeah. yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah, oh, we have questions. Uh, so, from what I see, or maybe I misunderstand this, 
And so I use Wikimedia Commons mainly for other non-photo yeah. media types. Yeah. Um, mm. And this is very so structured. Wikimedia Commons is very focused on pictures at the moment, right? So I have this problem when I upload my slides for, yeah. for Wikimania, I think, yeah. that, that it asks me to, to upload. Uh, to, to add things. Yeah. Uh, would there be a possibility to have at least examples or something when you detect it's a PDF, for example? Mm -hmm. And you say like this yeah. typical statements that go with PDFs? Because yeah. I was really lost and I yeah. kind of know what they do. I also don't know. That's you know, the frequently asked question that I cannot answer. We still have to figure it out. Okay, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah. We, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but, yeah. but is yeah. it so that. The models are mostly now settled for images and yeah. everything else comes later. I, I noticed that because Commons is mostly photos and yeah. images, that's where people start. Yeah. We're also starting to think about artworks yeah. because that's a special case. Um, but definitely, I mean, PDFs, presentations, we have to figure that out at, at some point. And since you are a Wikidata community member, we can use your brain power to help us think this through. So, <laughs> yes. so I mean, uh, contribute to the discussion about it, or just my yeah, my suggestion would just be try stuff, yeah. do stuff, even if it's wrong. Afterwards, people will be angry at you, or maybe not. But at least we've, we've tried and we've learned. So yeah, yeah okay. it's a uh, but definitely. But I agree that the depicts kind of thing that kind of hints a lot at big pictures, but it's really meant to be. Anything that is in the file, you know, if it's a music piece, it depicts the, the composition. So, yeah. for example, also my undergrad thesis, we yeah. uploaded it to the media content yeah. like then, yeah. and it yeah. doesn't really depict something, no. so I can't just describe what's <laughs> the content of yeah. it, but then it becomes also more about the Yeah, yeah. anyway, yeah. we did discuss the same thing. Yeah, but you will have the reference on the wiki site on, on wiki data, so there might be. How do you connect both, right? So exactly. you see that it's it's, it's, it's yeah. this thing yeah. and yeah. also it talks about content wise exactly. about the like, other thing. Right? Yeah. 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 So that would be interesting to more. That's juicy yeah. stuff to think about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, and very nerdy. Yeah. yeah, so Isa, I'm just gonna show two more tools before I will release you into the lunch world. Um, because I'm super happy with them also. Uh, if you wanna Go more than one by one? Yes. That's what was nice. Easy. You will uh, yeah. upload the slides, right? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. my, my play is yeah. Of course. So I need to, yeah. Yeah. I need to go. Yeah. I've also put the links to these tools actually in, in the session description, so you can just go this in the session description and find them. Uh, but one thing, if you use catalogs on Wikimedia Commons, that allows you to go to an entire category and add information about that entire category. Like you can go to the, the entire category of the mosque and say all of these pictures show that mosque at once rather than going one by one. So this is a good to do that. Um, and then we have another one. So this is what it looks like. We have this little yellow block on the right. It says select all these files and say for all these files they depict this mosque. And then another one is called ACDC, which I think is a very funny game. Um, it's something that we add on descriptions, etc. Uh, and that does kind of the same thing, but you can all, not only do this, this depict, but you can also do other statements as well. And you can start from a category, but you can also feed it any list of files, and it will really do that to those files. And this is what it looks like. So um, I did here all of these are in location Marrakesh. Uh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, um, I don't know if there are people in the room here who are sometimes doing batch uploads, like big uploads of hundreds or thousands of files. Unfortunately, we don't have any volunteer tools for that yet, but I know that some of these people are thinking about introducing this, uh, this functionality. If these tools look familiar to you, then you might say, oh, okay, good. Um, and so how, how you can help is, by all means, go forth and add the structured data to files, help figure out a data model. Uh, I've put a link here to the discussion. I will actually also put these links on the session page itself, that's easier. And as I said, as we've seen, translate labels, descriptions to your language, because that's, you know, is a foundation with which you help to make anything in common to discoverable.
And that's it, I think. Yeah, this is, so, this is where it all the discussion about the monitoring is going on. So about how we figure out PDFs and how, what they do. To. Oh, and then I, I said, let's try it. I think we already tried it. Any last questions? Yeah, yeah, if you want. Yeah. Artificial intelligence. Yeah. Intelligence. How does it work exactly for that? Uh, you very often yes. want to suggestions. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, so what uh, is going to be developed, it's currently in the review, community review. Okay. Is uh, that <laughs> with your uploads, when you upload the set of files, for instance, then there will be artificial intelligence going over the files, and you will get a page where you can say, where you can actually verify what is, is said there. So it's not going to be automatically added, but you as a human first have to say, oh yeah, this is indeed a chair, this is indeed that person, this is indeed a flower, 